Hey guys, this is Melanda. Today I am going to be opening my last uh, expansion, the Mythos expansion from Reaper Bones 3. So uh, this expansion contains a lot of monsters, these uh, uh, HP Lovecraft monsters. This is uh, what they call the Dark Young. And uh, also some, um, what do you call it, Victorian uh, 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 miniatures as well. So uh, let's open this up. So we only have one bag of goodies here. You can see the tentacles already. This is nice. Okay, to start off, let's get rid of the stuff that I don't like the most. These guys, they are... <laughs> well, they are nice, but um, I don't like them as much. These are the Victorian uh, models, the Victorian guys. They are not in the white bone color, as you can see. They are they are still bendy, but I think it's a different type of plastic. I'm not entirely sure. They are very detailed as well, so... They are, they are of good quality. An old man with a gun. Hey, dual wield. Looks like a zombie though. And a gentleman with a hat. Maybe he's a doctor. Doctor's bag? This guy looks like he needs a punch in the face. Look at him. You have a lady with an umbrella. Oh, a lovely dress. I like the back of her dress. And we have a killer chef. Is, is it a chef? I think the hat looks like a, a chef's hat. Or a sailor? And then we have... Oh, okay. Okay, this guy really does look like a sailor. He has a... He has a, a, a drink in his hand. Some newspaper. Or maybe a map. A lady with a gun. Another lady. This guy kind of looks like a mayor of sort. He has a book and all. I like him. And the last one, we have an explorer looking guy. He has a gun, a pack. He's heading off into the snow. And these guys come with a camel as well. So let's let's open this camel up. And he has a he has a backpack of sort. So uh okay, let's let's grab one of these guys for scale. Because I, I packed Lady for a scale. She's somewhere. Oh, this is a huge camel. This is a really, really huge camel. Are camels this huge? I, I have no idea. Anyway, um, we, we can use this as a camel. Just as a camel. Or uh, with this little pack up top. I don't really know which way it goes on. But may maybe? No. Anyway, yeah. We have a little, little pack here. Which is cool. I think it's cool. If you put some magnets in this... And then stick it on top, just like that. That would be nice. Here are some cultists. Um, these were concept arts when they were on the Kickstarter, and uh, I think they turned out really well. Look at that. These are made of bone material, so uh, you got the bendy stuff. But but the, I think it's slightly harder than the than the other ones. Because this weapon is is tough. It's pretty tough. I, I I like it like that. It's pretty good. Oh, look at that sword. These evil guys.
And it wouldn't be a code without uh, one of these, right? The sacrificial uh, altar, right? This is pretty neat. Bendy, might be bendy. And uh, the thing is, it doesn't, it doesn't, it rocks. I don't, I don't like this much. I don't know if you can fix this because this is the gray kind of material. It's not the original, well, the normal bones that we see. Uh, it's pretty tough. All right. Okay, we are almost at the monsters. Here we have uh, one of the obelisks from it, and uh, well, it has a hole at the back and some writing on it. Some scripts. And of course, one of these guys on top. Here we have a set of deep ones. Um, I tried my very best to remember names of uh, these creatures because I am not much of a, a Lovecraft fan, but these monsters are really cool, and uh, I think these are called the Deep Ones. Deep, deep one or deep, deep ones? I yeah. Here we go. They are frog-looking monsters. I think they're frogs. They kind of look froggy, toady. Okay, there are four of these guys. One, two, three, four. All right. And here is the butt monster. Here is the butt monster. This is the Gug. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, or let me know if I'm right. Uh, it should be the Gug. It has a, a horizontal face and arms. I think, look at those teeth, those fangs. Oh, jeez. Nightmares. This guy here is the Grave Wailer. There are many mouths on it. Uh, it's wailing in pain. And paint, I think painting this up is going to be fun. Look at all those teeth, mouths and stuff. This little baggie here is the Cthulhu Shrine. It has a... It has a wonderful uh, Cthulhu thing here, right here. Right on top. And uh, with this one, uh, how do... We... Let's see. Okay, it fits fits right on a back like that. And uh, we have two of these. These are the Migos. Or Migo. I, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it says Migo. So uh, um, let me put this together. They're both the same. Okay, well this guy is falling apart and he definitely needs a lot of uh, glue. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of small pieces. So here we go. Here's one of them. Please ignore the blue stuff. Yeah, got crabby arms, spider legs, and uh, wings, and uh, what is coral for hair? For head? Yeah, here is the Miko. There are two of these. And the last thing we have is the Dark Young. This is uh, this tentacle monster with goat legs. And a scary, scary, scary uh, 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 mouth here. Alright, let's put it together. Oh, 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 the leg, the leg. All right, all right, here we go, we have it. Let's, um, let me, let me change the camera angle a little bit lower. Okay, here we go. Look at this. It has three legs, and uh, two, three, three little arms, and then all these tentacles. Look at that. It's pretty neat, I like it. The 
mouth. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. Well, guys, this is all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. These are the Lovecraft monsters and uh, some of the uh, Savage World guys and the camel. Stay tuned for some add-ons. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.